Today we are going to be exploring neurographic art. Neuro refers to the brain and graphic refers to the design. This technique was created by Russian psychologist Pavel Piskarev. You can start by writing down a few words on the back of your paper or at the top which describe or convey the feelings of the moment. The idea is to let yourself go to the art, to let your hand guide itself and move freely. You can use a sharpie or a fine liner. You're going to let your arm move over the paper. I place masking tape on the edges to consolidate the work. Once you have finished with your line work, see if it balances. And if it doesn't, you can add organic shapes or lines to make that balance happen. Now that the lines are drawn, this is where the fun really starts. It's a very cathartic part of the process. It's called the transformation. And it happens when you curve all the inner corners or connections. You remove the abrupt edges and you soften them. The idea is that it works emotionally as well as physically. Check each intersection, smoothing out each inner corner or angle. You can also thicken some of the lines up or not. This part of the process allows you to focus on nothing else but the work. The aim is to get into a peaceful and meditative state. Keep an eye on your composition and feel free to add extra lines if the balance doesn't work. Now that the line has finished, I'm going to use some colours. And I'm using something here I haven't used since I was a student myself. Instant coffee. Instant coffee will work beautifully to create the tones that I'm looking at adding. I think it's always fun to add something unexpected into your work. To use a product which is not necessarily designed with an artistic purpose in mind, but you can create with it. Instant coffee works better than percolated coffee in this instance. Just use some hot water and mix it with a couple of teaspoons of instant coffee. You can apply it with a brush. You can also reduce the intensity of the pigment by adding more water. Here I created shadows using the brown pigment. I silhouetted the lines with coffee. I find that the coffee reminds me of the brown ink pigment, which I quite like without using ink. Now, I tried out soy sauce and you could try out tea. I'm sure there's a variety of things that you could try out. You could also use traditional art media such as colour pencils, coloured inks, watercolour paint, Copic markers, the list goes on. You can see here I've pulled out my trusty hair dryer so that I can dry the first layer before applying the second. I'm looking at adding many layers to give it a sense of depth. Once complete, I'm going to remove the masking tape. When I added it, I popped it on top of my clothing first so it wasn't uber sticky and it wouldn't tear the paper. Enjoy.